let's just imagine this. You're walking down the street, you have a little piece of plastic in your hand and you accidentally drop it. No big deal, right? Wrong. Because this little piece of plastic could end up here, which could end up here or here or even here. Check out this video. It shows a recent rescue by the Vancouver Aquarium Marine Mammal Rescue Team where they had to detangle a sea lion near Race Rocks Ecological Reserve. Each year, the team responds to hundreds of calls for trapped or abandoned animals. But the sad truth is, biologists believe that at any given time, there could be upwards of 450 sea lions tangled in plastic along the coast of BC alone. While it was a happy ending for the sea lion, that's usually not the case. The animals usually do die from that. We know that from following up on the animals. And it's a very long, slow, painful process to die from something like that. It's usually starvation coupled with a lot of discomfort. More than 8 million tons of plastic are dumped into the oceans every year, and all of that plastic is impacting animals in different ways. While sea lions and whales are getting trapped in it, others are ingesting it, eating everything from small microplastics. It's getting into everything. Filter feeders will, will extract their, their guts with the, with the stuff. We know it's even up in beluga whales in the Arctic, and it's got to have potential long-term effects to larger items like plastic bags. Leatherback turtles, um, those guys eat almost jellyfish exclusively, and to them, a floating plastic bag or a balloon often looks like jellyfish, unfortunately, and they will ingest those, and there are cases where those have caused mortality in that species. Dr. Martin Helenas has seen these animals suffer because of our mistakes is heartbreaking. Animals have such a huge challenge. Um, be it with um, lack of resources, climate change, um, you know, lack of available uh, habitat, but it all comes home when you see one individual animal suffering for a really long period of time and likely eventually going to die directly because of how we as humans have treated our planet. But he's also optimistic. He believes that people in BC care enough about these animals to realize that the ocean isn't a personal dumping ground but rather his home, and his home, and his home.